Hello guys, today let's talk about measuring the performance of your application and I will share a trick with Laravel Telescope. Before Telescope, I know that Laravel Debug Bar is by far the number one popular tool to measure the performance of your pages. It is specifically mostly used to check database queries, so if we zoom that in, the screenshot, the Queries tab is probably the most popular to watch for, but important as well or even more important in the global scheme is this on the right the memory so 11 megabytes in this case how much memory is consumed by your page or api endpoint run by the whole request life cycle and how can you measure those requests if you are not actively using the page so debug bar will not help you to measure the performance when the page is used by others by your users so how can you measure or review what pages or what endpoints caused too much memory? For that, you can use Laravel Telescope. And in one of my previous videos, I've measured the request with Laravel Telescope for importing and exporting Excel. I will link to that original video in the description below. So each endpoint has duration and has also memory usage logged. It's not shown in the table, but if you click on specific request you have memory usage of 8 megabytes for example and laravel telescope itself doesn't give you a well-structured table of like most memory consuming requests at least i haven't found it here or in the docs but it is saving all the requests with the data in the database so we can extract that data and run for example a report of bad requests if we calculate the memory let's take a look how to do that so when you install Laravel Telescope, it saves all the entries in the database table, Telescope Entries. One of the type of entry is Request. So there are, for example, queries which are logged, but then there's Request. And whatever type of the entry that is, Query or Request, it saves all the details in the field called Content. So let's take a look what inside of the content. I will copy and paste into a JSON formatter, Process, so here's the structure, the request, the controller action, session, and what we care about is this, memory 8. Duration is in milliseconds and memory is in megabytes. So we need to extract that number from a JSON field, which is actually a field of text type, but we can still query that as JSON because Laravel Eloquent allows to filter by JSON so what we need to know in Laravel Telescope, there's an entry model, which extends the model, which corresponds to that database table telescope entries. So we can run eloquent query. For example, if we open artisan tinker, we can do entry model all. Not sure if tinker will autocomplete that, no. So we need to provide the full path, which I will paste from my notes, entry model all and we have all the details. Now, how to filter that? Again, by content memory. First, let's change that to get and do where type request. So type request. That will be the first filter. So we don't care about the queries or other types. We care only about requests. Now, content memory, according to the documentation of JSON fields in the Eloquent, I will restart the Tinker for you to see more data we can do select of just content memory like this and also we need another field content uri which is the url or endpoint let's run that and what we can see now more like what we need so memory and uri url and now we need to order by memory descending so now let's repeat the same query with order by order by and how do we order content memory descending would it work let's try it out it did work but not in a way you would expect content memory by default is a text field part of the json so if you order by that it's ordered as a string so eight then seven then five then two which is obviously incorrect. So the most consuming memory request with 192 megabytes is at the bottom. So how do we order that as integer? And this is the solution. I've pasted that from my notes to avoid you seeing me typing. We need to order by raw. And our raw is 
this string. So we have content $.memory. We need to cast that as unsigned, which means integer, and then order by that descending. So we're using MySQL on top of Eloquent to actually perform the sorting. So we do that, and now we have exactly what we need. URI and most consuming memory request. So this is what I wanted to show you, how to filter telescope requests by memory and sort by that. And from here, use your imagination to filter by date, filter the URIs, filter something else, or maybe make some report, or maybe even extend telescope and perform a pull request to that, to the official telescope repository. The choice is yours. And if you generally care about the performance of your application in terms of database, for example, one of my courses here is about better eloquent performance. So you can take a look at that course where in a bit more than one hour, I have 14 examples, practical real life examples, how to optimize eloquent, in which cases, including n plus one query problem and including memory consumption, which is exactly the topic of this video. And I will put a link to that course in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.